Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go nine hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone had a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Let's take a look at one of our Believe cards. This is by Natalie Goldberg. Follow what you love, and it will take you where you want to go. That's a fact. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials down 21, NASDAQ off 3, S&Ps were flat, gold contract up $2.30, trading at 1246 an ounce. Silver up 7 cents at $18.81 an ounce, platinum down 3 at 1432 an ounce, copper 318 a pound, light sweet crude flat at 102.82 a barrel, bonds, you had the 10 year down 16 ticks at 124.12. 30 year off a full point at 135.11. King dollar down 100 ticks at 80.59. You get the euro up 29 at 136. And the yen is trading up 15 at 102.53. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want well, to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? We are at 1924.30. The high that was generated yesterday was 1925.88. We did that one at 548 million. It's still hanging up here. We're at 650 million today. I expect uh, that uh, 1925.88 wants to get tested again and again. It wants to get tested again. That's the bottom line. Dow Industrials. We take a look at the Dow Industrials. What do you have with the Dow Industrials? Is this Dow went sideways today? Is still at the highs. You're at 16,722. Your high is uh, 35 and 56. The 56 high was yesterday. The uh, 32 high, 35 high was on the May 13th uh, number. I suspect tomorrow, yesterday's high is going to get spiked once again. NASDAQ composite. What do we have inside the composite? Composite really sideways move, 42.34. The composite looks like it wants to spike, folks, the uh, April 3rd and April 2nd high. That would be about 50 points higher. Uh, that swing point's hanging out there. It doesn't have the juice, no doubt. It's 1.6 billion versus 1.6 versus uh, 2.4 on the way down. So it doesn't have the juice, but I suspect it wants to get into that area. The NASDAQ 100. Now, the NASDAQ 100, the number for the three Qs is... 9136. We hit 9136. We failed, not today because it never hit it today. We failed the last two days, however. We got over it, closed under it, all of the above. That's going to go after it once again because it, they, they, they're hanging right at those highs up here. Gold contract. We take a look at gold now. This is what we have with gold. Okay. So, gold right now is at 1240. 20. That was the low today, 12. 46.20 is what it closed at. We did 85,000 contracts. We had already broken the B point with volume. That A to B equals C to D, folks, has a 12.24 number on it. And bottom line, I expect that we're going to see that number, and we're going to probably see that number on Thursday. Why? We're going to start talking about it. i got a question in the den right now. Uh, uh, do you think they're waiting for uh, Draghi? and the European Central Bank, yeah, that's exactly what the market looks like it's waiting for. But we're going to get into that and bisect it and dissect it. So that's going to, it's going to be about the euro, it's going to be about the dollar, and it's going to be about metals. We're at 12.46. What you have is that 12.24 is the A to B equals C to D. The low of the December contract right here is 11.91. That is actually, that's, a, that's opened... Uh, I expect we're going to have a highly volatile day on Thursday, folks, big time. Now, let's go. Oh, I'm, I'm going to I'll, I'll, I'll come back to the bonds. I'm going to go right over to the dollar, and this is why. The correlation inside the euro, the dollar, is set up like this. The dollar right now, this is the dollar index, is at 80.57. This little baby is coming into your April swing point with some juice. The April swing point out here is 80.77. We got to 80.771 today. I expect what you're going to see is that this is going to be a rocket ship right up to the 81.65. And it very well can happen Thursday, you know, if in fact um, the European Central Bank actually does something. 
Uh, what we've seen in the past is that there's been a huge amount of jawboning and they do nothing. You know, they basically keep continuing saying, we're going to have stimulus, we're going to have stimulus, and they don't put it in place. This uh, just came out right into the close today, which was really interesting. And what it was is that they're saying that uh, two, uh, go ahead, let me go through the rest of the market first, and I'll bring you back to this. So bottom line is that I see the dollar going up, the euro, let's, let's bring the euro up, because the correlation is that they bring rates down, the euro will go down. The euro is at 136 right now. Your swing point down is 134.77. I can hit that in a heartbeat. Gold pulls back to the lowest swing. Now, in that type of scenario, which is going to be really cool is this, folks, is that the gold contract is finishing off an ABC structure on the way down anyway. The dollar wants to get to those highs. We get those moves, you get action. And what the action would be, I suspect, is this. The action would be that you see gold bottoming out down there because that's 100% move or move. The dollar would be 100% move or move going up to its April highs. That in itself, the fast currency move, I expect that's where the, the S&P, we're going to see some spikes that are going to be incredible. And when this comes out, so it's going to come out at 145 that's European time. I've got to figure this out. So uh, if one of you targets can be a, it's at 1.45 European time and then at 2.30 European time. I think it's going to be like 8.30 in the morning, right? I think it's about eight hours. Um, he's going to have a, a press conference. Bonds. Let's go over to the bond market. We take a look at the bond market. What we have with bonds is this. We go to the 10-year bond first. What we have with the 10-year, 10-year pullback, 1.2 million shares. That's not enough. That's just building costs for higher price. Uh, the we went top side with two million. Uh, we are at 124.12, and what you can do, you can get into 124.05. 124.05 is where we broke top side on this baby. It can get into that in a heartbeat. We go take a look at the 30-year uh, bond. We came back with 345,000 contracts, and this baby can get into uh, what 135, 10, 135.04 is really the number. Um, we'll see whether it gets down to the lowest swing. The lowest swing is 134.12. We'll see how that uh, handles it. If we go over to the TLT and you want to see the correlation inside the 20-year uh, plus, the TLT today pulled back with uh, 12 million shares and she's coming into 11.5. So the TLT has some juice on the way back out here. Uh, she's going to need more than 12.2 to break down. The reason being we're at 111.57 and she's going to be coming into 12.7 million, and that 12.7, uh, yeah, 12.7. 12.2 is a lot, though. There's no, there's no two ways about that. 877-927-6648. Over to the oil market. Let's go take a look at oil. Oil, flat market out here today, but it really can't get out of its way. We did 144,000 contracts out here. We are trading out at 102.79, and at 102.79, uh, you're still in the lower range. That is saying that oil wants to basically run down to this 98.10 uh, area. So let's go back to the European Central Bank, what the take is on it. So this is what we had come out a little bit uh, right after, right into the close, actually. So uh, okay, Mario Draghi is likely to signal that any interest rate cut this week won't necessarily be the final one, according to two. Euro, Euro area bank officials. The European Central Bank president will probably reiterate his commitment to keep borrowing costs at present at lower levels that people said asking not to be identified because the talks on public. This is a trip. I mean, they're, they're floating this out here. And the European Central Bank really does this in a huge way. What they try to do is just jawbone. Now, what's interesting about this one is that what they're saying uh, okay, while there won't be a final decision be made until June 5th, policymakers are debating a cut of 10 to 15 basis points of both the benchmark and deposit rates, the people said. The ECB is battling a pro prolonged period of low inflation that threatens to derail the euro's uh, economic recovery. The bottom line, folks, I, I suspect uh, you wa will get an interest rate cut, and uh, an interest rate cut in itself will bring the euro lower, the dollar higher, gold lower at first, but I think that's about it. You stay right there. We'll come right back.